Hello everyone, welcome to this series of sessions on Oracle Cloud Infrastructure Database Management Service. In this session, we will look at registering and connecting to an external database, which is an on-premises Oracle database. My name is Sriram Vrinda. I am a product manager with the enterprise and cloud observability and management platform in Oracle Cloud Infrastructure. So, so far we've seen how to install and configure management agents for database management. Now let's get started with the registration and connectivity aspects of an external database. The first thing that you would do is to create a handle and then followed by creating a connection to the created handle so that you could register an external database. I'll take you through steps two and three. And in order to do that, let us now navigate to the OCI console. All right, so I am in the OCI console, and now we are ready to register our external databases. In order to come to the external databases within OCI, you navigate to the hamburger menu, and within the hamburger menu, you go to Oracle database, and then click on external database. So we can register three types of external databases. It could be a container database, it could be a pluggable database, and it could be a non-container database. And you also need to choose a compartment where you're going to register the external database. In our case, we are going to register an external pluggable database. And in order to do that, you have to register a container database first. It is assumed that you've done this process. The process for registering a container database and pluggable database remains pretty much similar. So we will walk you through the steps for registering an external pluggable database. So let's click on the register external pluggable database button. By default, you would be in the context of the compartment from where you came in. And so this is the compartment that I have to be in. And I give the database display name, which is my pluggable database name. I am going to create a handle for my HR stage pluggable database. Within the container database, HRDB1, which resides in this particular compartment, which we have already created. Now let's go ahead and do a click on register. What this does is it just creates a representation of the on-premises pluggable database named as HR stage and which is part of the container database HR DB1. At this point, we have not connected to the external pluggable database. We have just created an, a representation of that particular database in Oracle Cloud. Uh, so you could see that most of the values here are um, not populated and the lifecycle state would say not connected. So that is the registration process to create a handle, but then you have to really connect to the database. In order to connect, you can scroll down or maybe here you would see a, a message to connect to external pluggable database, click on the button, or you could also scroll down and then see connectors. Under connectors, you would see connect to external pluggable database. You can click on connect to external pluggable database. It asks you for a connector display name. So let us give it a name as HR stage connection. And let me give the DNS host name. You could give the host name if it is pingable from on-premises to OCI, if you've created IPsec VPN, or if you have created fast connect, you could either provide the host name or you could provide the IP address. And if you're coming from on-prem through the public internet, then you would be forced to provide the public IP address, which we won't be doing for security reasons. Okay, so I have populated the uh, required uh, connection uh, string information, the DNS host name, I have provided the IP address, port number, service name, and the protocol by default, we support TCP in the initial release. Now we can actually select the connector type, for the initial release, we support management uh, agent cloud service. And within the management agent cloud service, you need to choose the agent ID. So the agent ID is this one, which we have already created. Uh, you could also change a compartment. So I have created an agent in this particular compartment, which I could use. Um, so I would be using that as a connector type. And now you have to specify the database connection credentials. I'm going to specify the system username and credentials. So I have specified the system username, the password, and also a credential prefix named as HRPDB. 
which would be used as a reference name to um, understand the credential name that we have provided to connect to the PDB. And that is basically passed on to the management agent. The details of this username and password are never stored in Oracle Cloud or on the DB management service. It is directly passed on to the agent and the agent resides in customer's tenancy or in the customer premises. Now you're ready to connect to an external pluggable database. Let's click on connect to external pluggable database. It takes a while to create the connection. It is tracked via a work request. You need to track the work request to see whether the connections are a success or a failure. And uh, we will have to wait for like one or two minutes to have this completed. All right, so it looks like our connection got succeeded. You could see um, the status message as succeeded. And now you would be able to see that our data is populated with the connection status as connected. And uh, you would be able to see the details like the service that we've provided, so on and so forth. And you could also go to the work requests and click on the work request item to see what was happening behind the scene. So now if you go to pluggable databases, you would be able to see there is a pluggable database and named as HR stage. And uh, it is mapped to a container database named as HRDB1. And this name of the database that you see here is the parent name of the container database. And when you click on the HR stage, you would be able to see that there is a connection that is made available. And if you want to click on metrics, you would be seeing no metrics because in order to have metrics populated and being sent to OCI monitoring service, you need to enable database management service. We'll look at that in the next video.